Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing great. Welcome to the AAA orientation session for the June 2024 exam setting. Well, my name is Ahmed and I hope I am absolutely crystal clear. So can I have some confirmation? Am I absolutely crystal clear specifically with respect to voice quality and clarity? Yes, sir. That's crystal clear. Okay, see, thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Temur. Okay. Thank you. That's great. Okay, I am the host now. Where we have to go now? Okay. Okay, back to square one. Last AAA, well, last ACCA exam window, which was for March 2024. AAA was on Thursday, to be precise, on 7th March, Thursday. Now it's back to Monday, and the exam would be on Monday, 3rd June, 2024. Okay, I am your AAA tutor. My name is Emmer, and if you want to engage with me, well, you've got a couple of options. First of all, you can join the free AAA global WhatsApp group specifically for the June 2024 exam setting. Well, how can you join the free global group? Well, the description of this video is definitely going to provide you with a link. Secondly, secondly, if you want to join the batch, <laughs> okay, Mike, Michael, uh, let, me, let me, you know, share my point of view on that. Okay, if you want to join the Wifi's AAA batch, the English language batch or the Hindi Urdu batch, yes, those are two different batches. You are more than welcome to contact Wifi through the following numbers and you can contact them or you can directly approach Wifi through the website. You don't have to contact them through the WhatsApp. You can directly uh, join the batch through the WhatsApp as well. Okay, so, okay. So Michael has raised a question, uh, you know, an aggressive start in the chat box. Why they have changed the date? To be very honest, I've got no idea. Because I was very happy with the Thursday being the exam date for the AAA because considering the fact AAA is the most challenging exam, you know, Thursday gave us three extra days. I was able to mark the mock exam with a lot more things a lot more, you know, more than 100% concentration. And to be very honest, what was the benefit of exam being on Thursday? It gave me an opportunity to receive extra, extra mocks. Even after I, I you know, I released the exam report, mock exam report. So obviously there are deadlines to each and everything. So once I issued the report regarding the mock exam, once the results were uploaded on the Wiki portal and everything was done and dusted, till I received few mocks through the WhatsApp, and I, you know, I genuinely acknowledged those mocks, and I was able to mark those mock exams only because I even received the mock exams on Monday, and I even marked few mock exams on Tuesday only because of the fact that the final exam was on Thursday. So I was very happy, Michael, but I don't know why they initially changed it to Thursday. I've got no, no idea about it and why they have changed it back to Monday. I've got no idea about it. Yes, there is a change which, which seems to be a wise one. They have split tax and ATX because tax, ATX and SBL on the same day, which means a lot of students who are going to attempt ATX and SBL will not be able to attempt the paper. And because tax is a very favorite exam among the skill level papers, many students go for tax initially. So tax, ATX, and SBL. And again, SBL being a mandatory exam that used to fill up the seats pretty quickly on Tuesday. Now they have split it tax in ATX just to make sure, just to make sure that, just to make sure that many majority of the students could be facilitated. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, what about me? Well, well, I teach double A and triple A at WIPI. What is WIFI or what about WIFI? WIFI is a gold online ALP. Is it important? Is it something we take for granted? Absolutely not. Gold online ALP means the website 
the lectures, the website, the lectures, the way we assign the assignments per week, the way we mark those assignments, the way, uh, the way we carry out the mock exam, the way we provide the feedback regarding the mock exam, the way we declare our final result once the ACCA result is out, everything is monitored and well controlled by ACCA, well evaluated by ACCA. So at WIFI, if we are claiming a particular position, if we are claiming a particular percentage of past results, if we are claiming a certain number of students who have passed the paper, Trust me on that, not even 0.1% is exaggerated or inflated because we are we are a gold online ALP. We are not a random website who are, you know, with all due respect, no, no disrespect to anyone. We are not a random website who can claim anything. No, we can't do that because we have always been under the surveillance, under the umbrella and under the monitoring system of ATCA. So we are a gold online ALP and we are improving day by day, session by session. And every session we try to improve and we try to learn from the from the mistake. So yes, I teach double A and triple A. Both batches are available in different languages. And I have been part of the ACCA's official practice to pass webinars as well. And recently I had few distinctions in both double a and triple a okay before i move to the course content thank you very much Samur. uh yes i also love this cap so yeah thank you okay so what about the course content so according to acca not according to amr according to acca there are multiple syllabus areas from A to G. Now, how are we going to cover the syllabus? As a student and as a tutor, we are going to focus on syllabus area A, B, and C within the next 10 days. I will allocate 10 days to the syllabus area A, B, C. I will allocate a couple of live classes to the syllabus area A, B, C. What about ABC? Well, if you want to fail the paper, don't prepare ethic. If you want to fail the paper, assume that you have already prepared ethic because you prepared it, prepared that particular topic in doubling. That's how you can fail the paper. The March 2024 exam setting, majority of the students had one full question on ethic. For June 2024, I expect a full question on quality management or, or probably it is going to be a combination of syllabus area B and C. Both ethics and quality management would be amalgamated into a question for 25 marks. Syllabus area A has got an important topic, for example, money laundering. So the syllabus area A, B and C would be prepared to a 110% level within one week if you are a full-time student. And if you are not a full-time student, maybe this weekend followed by another weekend. Obviously, not ignoring the weekdays. So within the next seven to 10 days, maximum 10 days, we can be absolutely dead sure for the first three topics, syllabus area A, B, and C. And if you are going to prepare the syllabus area A, B, and C, approximately you have covered 25 mark paper out of 100 marks. Okay, so what about syllabus area D? Syllabus area D is all about planning. It's all about assessing the risk. In AA, there was one risk, audit risk. In AAA, there are two risks. Number one, business risk, followed by number two, audit risk. And within audit risk, Yes, definitely there is a thing called risk of material misstatement, which has got to do with the financial statement. And number two, there is a thing called detection risk, which has got to do with the auditor. What about business risk? Business risk has got to do with the business. Why the hell are we interested in business risk? We are, we, who are we? We are external auditors. Then why are we interested in business risk? Because if the business is not well managed, 
it will have negative implications over the financial statements. So business is once not managed by the client, it will be transformed into audit risk. It will be transformed into a risk of material misstatements. That is why risk is an extremely important topic. And there are a couple of risks in AAA. And the question number one, which has got 50 marks in total, will be revolving around risk. It will always be set at the planning stage of the audit. So syllabus area D is the backbone of question number one. Syllabus area E, the most well-prepared syllabus area. Why I'm saying that this is the most well-prepared syllabus area? Because one question out of the two questions we'll, we have in section B will be 100% focused on syllabus area E. So yes, syllabus area E is a very, very important topic because one thing is for sure, when I will attempt my paper on Monday, 3rd, June 2024, when I will explore my section B of the exam, there will be two questions, 25 marks each, and one of the questions will be exclusively on syllabus area E. Okay, what about syllabus area F? The second last syllabus area, it's called other assignment. In AA, you were taught about audit. In AAA, you need to study other things which are relevant to audit, but not exactly audit. For example, forensic audit, where you have to investigate a fraud or something. For example, you have to understand what is due diligence. So for example, your for example, company A wants to buy company B. They want to acquire company B. The company A might contact you and they will ask you to provide due diligence whether they should buy company B or not, at what price they should buy, at what time they should buy. So this activity is called due diligence. So this due diligence along with forensic audit, along with review of interim financial information, review of process, Effective financial information along with these, these are what we call other assignments. The last syllabus area is about current issues and development, and it's not difficult to prepare this. You just have to keep an eye on the technical articles, especially the technical articles under the umbrella of current issues. And I focus on current, uh, I focus on technical articles, but I always say. It is not mandatory to read all the technical articles. I will tell you a few important technical articles which are relevant to the June 2024 exam city. And more importantly, a technical article is going to be a great deal for you, provided you can relate the technical article with a particular past paper question. So if I have read a particular technical article, maybe twice, maybe thrice, there is no point of reading that technical article three times, four times, five times. If you are unable to relate that technical article with a past paper question, every technical article has something to do with a particular past paper question, maybe two questions. So one must be able to relate it. For example, for example, let me give you an example straight away. Let me give you an example. So. This is your, no, 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 give, give me a second, please. Give me a second, give me a second. Okay. Triple A technical article. You just have to search this triple A technical article. Okay. Now, what about triple A technical articles? Okay. This is, the, 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 these are your triple A technical articles. So let's click on the syllabus area A. In fact, mm, so there is a technical article under the category of syllabus area B. It's called ethics in the AAA exam. Now guys, this technical article, ethics in the AAA exam, this technical article will not teach you, I repeat, this technical article will not teach you what is integrity, what is confidentiality, how to, you know, what is self-interest threat, what is familiarity threat. This technical article will teach you how to score marks. 
this technical article will guide you how to explain the ethical issue, how to identify, how to explain, how to score full marks. So once you have read this technical article and once you have understood the marking scheme, once you have understood how to get full marks, so this is going to give rise to a self-review thread and possibly lead to assuming a management responsibility. This will not give you good enough marks. This identification is the first step to answer a question. Is this going to score marks? These points alone will score hardly any mark or minimal credit in the exam. If you want to score full marks, candidates should be aiming to demonstrate they understand the issue. And how are you going to explain and how are you going to prove that you truly understand the issue? You need to explain the implication of the threat. The implication of the threat implication means what negative impact it will have. The firm would be reluctant to highlight the errors because the firm has designed the system. They will be, they will, they might adopt more of a substantive testing approach rather than testing the controls because they have designed the system. They would not want to identify the mistakes in the system. If I am going to design the control system, the design of the system, control is a management responsibility and a review of such would give would lead to a situation where the auditor would be assuming a management responsibility the auditor would be seen as taking the role of the management so this is how we explain so this technical article will teach you this technical article will teach you how to score marks once you have understood that once you have understood Un understood that you have to apply that knowledge and you have to relate it with certain past paper questions. So within the VIPs portal, there are special classes on ethics where I'll be discussing this technical article and then I'll I'll apply, I will be relating the knowledge to certain past paper questions. Okay. Similarly, for example, there is a very, 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 very important technical article under the category of completion review and reporting and it's called auditor's report to those charged with governance. Mark my word, this is going to be most likely tested in the upcoming exam attempt. Auditor's report to those charged with governance. Everyone is familiar with auditor's report. What, which audit report? To the members of the county. This is a this is another auditor's report, but this report is not publicly available. This is what we call auditor's report to those charged with governance. Once you have read this technical article, you will understand what things we need to communicate, to whom we need to com communicate, how are we going to identify what needs to be communicated. But once you are done with this, you need to move towards a past paper question. And the past paper question is called Kill Mister. It's a fairly recent past paper question. So once you have read this technical article, you have to move towards the past paper question called Kill Mister because Kill Mister will make you understand the importance of this technical article. So this is something really important. You need to understand that only focusing on technical article is not good enough. We have to apply and we have to relate those technical articles with the past paper question. So this is your syllabus. Now, what about the exam format? Well, the question number one will have 40 technical marks followed by 10 professional skill marks. And we have four professional skills and all four professional skills would be available in the question number one. Yes, all four. Question two and question three, they have got a same pattern, total 25 marks each. Out of 25 marks, 20 would be technical, 5 would be professional skill marks. Well, out of the four professional skills we have, communication skill would never be tested in question 2 and question 3. So that leaves us with three professional skills for question 2 and three professional skills for question 3. Now, out of three, any two professional skills could be tested in question two. Any two professional skills could be tested in question three. It means you must prepare yourself for the 20 professional marks as well. Yes, those 20 professional marks are extremely important. And, and 
we can score big we can score big number when it comes to professional marks so we need to target 15 plus out of 20 15 plus and yes it is possible to score 17 16 18 out of 20 okay now, before I move on, I need some confirmation. Are you guys absolutely clear up to this point? Are you clear with respect to the exam format? Are you clear about the split of the mark in section A and section B? Are you clear with respect to the course content? Are you clear about the importance of technical articles? Can I move on? Can I have some confirmation? Okay, Temur has got a question in the chat box. My question is that double A is more difficult or triple A is more difficult. I mean, how much triple A is harder? Because I heard from students that triple A is harder to crack. If anyone out there has got any question or concern, up to this point of time, you can use the chat box. And in the meanwhile, let me answer Temur's question. Well, to be very honest, I totally believe if you if someone is going to follow my instructions, double A is the easiest paper among the skill level exams. But why double A has got a fairly poor pass rate, especially as compared to tech and FR, maybe because of the fact it's a discussion-based paper and the English language creates a barrier. Maybe the typing speed creates a barrier in double A. In, in FR, in tech, you just have to type for 5 to 10 marks. But in double A, you have to type for 70 marks. So that could be a problem in double A. But the content itself is very straightforward and very easy. Okay, what about triple A? I am not going to lie. Yes, triple A is the most challenging ACCA exam. Yes, for the next 70, 80 days, you need to come out with your best possible effort. As a student, you have to understand and you have to realize and you have to acknowledge that the next 70, 80 days should be the most disciplined 70, 80 days. Ideally speaking, you should not amalgamate any other ECC exam along with AAA. Ideally speaking, it should be a standalone paper, especially if you are a full-time student. Okay, why is this the case? Let me help you with that. What about the pass rate of AAA? Before we move to the pass rates of AAA, is there anyone who's familiar with the global pass rate of SBL? On an average, what's the global pass rate of SBL for the last couple of years? What's the global pass rate? What's the global pass rate for SBR for the last couple of years? Temur, Kenny, Prachi, thank you everyone. Everyone is absolutely correct with the number 50, 51. Yes. What about the global pass rate for SBR? What about the global pass rate for SBR? 48, 49, sometimes 50. Yes. Yes, mostly 48, 49, and, and 50. And I have seen 51 as well. Now, what about what about triple A? The global pass rates for triple A. From year 2021, March 2021, 32%, 32%, okay, spiked up 34%, 34%, back to 33, 31, 31, 34, 32, 34, 34, 34, and 34. We are unsure about the March 2024 because the result would be out after exactly a month. So if we have to call an average number, let's call it the global pass rate on an average is 34%, maybe 33%. So there is a huge gap of 16, 17% between your SVR, SBL, and AAA. I think that sums up the story. So if I have to attempt two papers in June exam sitting, and if I have to select two papers among the professional papers, I would amalgamate SBR and SBL. Both have got a global pass rate of 50 or more. And I will try to make sure AAA is a standalone paper. 
especially if I am a full time, if I'm not a full time student. Okay, what about your section A? Well, your section A of the exam will have total 50 marks and it is always going to be a planning stage of the audit. So the question will mainly focus on the syllabus area D and the greater majority of the marks within the question number one will be focused on assessing different risks such as business risk, such as audit risk. But yes, ethics, quality management or money laundering, any syllabus area from A, B, C could be tested as well. Okay, what about question two and three? Well, one of the question will exclusively focus on completion review and reporting, which is your syllabus area E. And that leaves us with another question in syllabus in the exam section B, and that other question could be a combination of ethics with quality management. It could be a combination of ethics with other assignments, quality management with other assignments. So typically speaking, typically speaking, quality management, ethics, and other assignments, those three topics could be tested within the other question of the of the exam of the section of the section B. Okay, so those who are saying that the global pass rate for triple A is somewhere between 34 and 36. No, guys, 35 or 36 is the number which we have never seen in the last three, four years. So maximum it goes to 34 and lowest it goes to 31. So you can't say 35 or 36. Okay, now in the chat box, what is WIPI pass rate? Well, WIPI's pass rate must be, and it has to be over and above 50%. That is how we are a global uh, online ALP. So that, that's the, well, if, if the WIPI's pass rate is 60% and the global pass rate is 34%, well, it's a, it's a, it's a great number. Although for, for certain papers, we can we 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 are way better than the when than the fifty or sixty percent. But for triple A, yes, it's a challenging paper. Why triple A has got such a high failure rate? Asipur Rahman, sir, will you share this? Yes, I will share. Don't worry. We'll we'll upload the video on the YouTube. Don't worry, you'll get everything. Don't worry. Now, why students fail in triple A? Why, with all that effort, we are only able to produce sixty. 58, 64% result, not the 80% result, to be very honest. Why? Why students fail AAA? Now, the next five minutes are extremely important because this slide will tell you how to fail the paper. And at the same time, this the next five minutes will also tell you how to pass the paper. So why students fail in AAA? Because this is a completely discussion-based paper. You are not going to use spreadsheet. So there are no formats, no pro forma, no massive calculations, no Excel formulas. So your time management and your typing speed has to be top notch. Is there any way through which Hasib can crack the time management? Is there any way through which Amar can ensure that he end up attempting the full paper which is a huge bonus and which normally leads to the success? Well, yes. Make sure your typing speed is decent. And how can you make sure your typing speed is great? Well, don't just read the question and don't just read the solution and don't tap yourself. Well done, boy. You have got it covered. You have prepared this question because you have discussed the question with tutor, you have discussed this question with yourself, you have read the solution. No. Once you are absolutely crystal clear, you got to type the answer using ACCA's practice platform. And this is how you prepare. And this is how your typing speed would improve. And this is how your time management issues would be resolved. Reason number two, why students fail this paper? Students tend to score 44 out of 80 when it comes to their technical marks and maybe 5 out of 20 in their professional marks. 
So you might end up scoring 49. And you might claim, sir, I knew everything in the exam. The exam went pretty good. I knew the technical part of it. Yes, you're right. You were decent. I, I won't say you were brilliant. You were decent. You scored 44 out of 80. Okay. But you missed the 20 professional marks. Those 20 professional marks are extremely important. And you know what? At Whippy, when I mark the final mock exam, I break down the student's mark that how much they have scored in question one, how much they have scored in question two. Well, for example, a particular student has failed the question three. So how much the student has scored? Okay, now what about question number one? Let's let's go to the breakdown of question number one. So your technical marks are 36. Your professional marks are six out of 10. So your score is, so in this way, you can understand and you can realize where you went wrong. What about question two? So this is your detail for question two, all the students. So this report only incorporates the students which submitted the mock through the portal. So this is your report for question three. So this is how I evaluate and this is how I provide the result, a report, a report for the total mark, a report containing total professional marks, total technical marks, and then the report for the question one and the breakdown of question number one and the question two and the breakdown of question number two followed by question number three and the breakdown of question number three. In this way, this is the most recent report which I just shared. I just so this is how we are going to focus and we are going to prepare professional marks. So I will be conducting a special live class after 20 days or so on how to tackle the 20 professional marks. Okay, third reason behind the high failure. Students tend to idealize the ideal answers. Well, you cannot reproduce those ideal answers. You got to squeeze them down. So maybe for a 18 mark question on audit risk, the past paper answer has got a content of more than 40 marks. So you must be smart enough to cut down certain chunks. So you cannot and you should not reproduce everything. So you should not feel you should not feel overwhelmed that I have to reproduce like that. No, you can't do that. So we are not supposed to idealize the ideal answers. Another important characteristic, another important or common characteristic among the failure students, they ignore the syllabus area B and F. What are the syllabus area B and F? What are syllabus areas B and F? B is ethics. And I don't know why AAA student will wrongly assume that he or she has studied ethics in AA, so he or she knows everything. In AAA, examiner will not ask you to define confidentiality, objectivity. The examiner will not ask you to define self-interest threat and give you examples of it. In AAA, when it comes to ethics, it's going to be an it's going to be a, going to be an application-based question. So you need to attend my special classes on ethics. And what about syllabus area F? Syllabus area F is other assignments. So why students ignore syllabus area F? Because they start their exam preparation so late that by the time they cover D, they have got hardly few days left to cover E. And they must prepare E because one of the questions in the section B would be 100% short shot exclusively focused on E. So they tend to focus on D and E and they tend to skip F with this assumption that F will not be tested in the exam. Yes, there is a possibility you might not get anything out of F. So this is a wrong approach. So you should not ignore P and F, the two underrated syllabus areas. Okay, you must attempt at least three mock exams. At WIFI, we conduct two mock exams, but you must attempt at least three. Now, what about the third one? Well, ideally speaking, before you attempt the final mock exam for me, which I have to mark, 
you should attempt a mock exam by yourself and you should mark it by yourself so that you are mentally prepared for the final exam final mock exam so this is how you need to attempt the three mock exam before you attempt the second well out of the three mock exam first mock exam should be attempted by you marked by you followed by the second and third for a fee okay number six reason behind high failure rate prepare your own notes for ias and ifrs i said prepare your own notes and when i say prepare your own notes you don't have to open fr book you don't have to open sbr book you don't have to open your sbr notes no you don't need that you have to focus on the past paper questions of triple a within the questions i'll be guiding you i'll be teaching you that this particular sentence this particular chunk should be part of your separate notes so you should not cut it and paste it you should not copy it and paste it you should type it so that your exam preparation is geared towards the right direction well definitely i've got a triple a master file which i am updating nowadays for the june 2024 exam fitting and within the master file the last two portions are your auditing standard notes and your ifrs notes so if you are not going to prepare your own notes i will provide you the notes but ideally speaking ideally speaking you should prepare your own notes for ifrs and ias okay last but surely not the least if you are enrolled with vp well it's my moral legal obligation to mark your mock exam but if you are not enrolled with vp please make sure at least one of your mock exam is marked by by an expert tutor so you have to make sure of this so if you are going to follow these instructions you will crack this paper so any question as of now anything anything you would like to share are you clear with all this so these are the reasons behind high failure that is why triple a has got a high failure rate students are usually professional professional work they are working they are unable to concentrate on all the syllabus areas they are they are not focusing on professional marks they are not typing as a result of that they face time management issues so you know recently uh, well to be precise on thursday 7th march students gave this feedback to me sir the exam was not difficult but it was very lengthy you know what when you when someone says the exam was not difficult but it was lengthy it means the student's knowledge was great the student actually covered all the lectures that is why the student has realized that the exam was not difficult but because of the poor typing speed because of the lack of exam practice because of not attempting the mock exam the student realized or the student felt the student felt that the exam was too time consuming and it was too lengthy so please realize and feel the difference if someone is saying the exam was not extraordinarily difficult i knew most of the things but it was a never ending story it has got to do with the time management it has got to do with lack of exam practice is this clear any question or any concern can i move on if we start today or tomorrow there is a chance that we could cover the syllabus as i have a job and i can give only three or four hours temur if you are a working professional which i expect everyone to be to be honest i hate full time students full time students are a burden on economy they are a burden on a family they are a burden on potential family because they are they are going to start so late so yes i always encourage the professional the working professional so if you are going to start from today or from tomorrow ideally speaking you should not waste this weekend and if you are going to invest not for 3 hours per day over the weekdays and maybe for someone maybe 2.5 hours per day over the weekdays 2.5 3 hours over the weekdays followed by 4 to 5 hours over the weekend you will not only attempt the paper on monday 3rd june you will secure the paper yes you heard me right there are two types of students 
A who are just going to attempt the paper. Some of them will pass, majority of them will fail. The second category is those who are going to secure the exam. They are going to come out of the examination center as victorious. They will be confident, they'll be happy, and they will smile. And they will keep on smiling till the result day. And on the result day, they will enjoy the day. Because AAA is the most important ACC exam. Are we clear? Have I answered your question, Temur? So, okay, that's great. Okay, I think I need to move on. What about the critical success factors? Well, the critical success factor number one is, once you will enroll with Wifi, you will get a planner document. So I have mentioned a deadline. You have to follow the planner document. So I have allocated seven to eight days, 10 days to the syllabus area A, B, C, then another 10 to 15 days to the syllabus area D, another 15 days to the syllabus area E, another 10 to 15 days to the syllabus area F and G. So you need to follow my planner document. Okay. I will give you assignments. And those assignments would be marked. And you know what? I always ensure that the assignments are new questions. The questions which are not already available in your recorded content. Because once you are done with an assignment, I will conduct a live class. And in the live class, I will discuss the topic I might discuss a technical article, but more importantly, I will discuss a new past paper question. Something relevant to the assignment. So in the last AAA session, which we just concluded, we had nine live classes. In the second last session, we had 10 live classes. So according to the WIFI's policy, because we are a gold online ALP, we, will, we need to conduct five or six live classes. But as a tutor, if I want to, I will exceed. What about the live classes? Well, mostly I will conduct the live classes over the weekend. Those live classes would be recorded. Well, when I say recorded, yes, the recording would be on. So if someone is going to miss out the live class, the recording would be available in the VIPs portal after a day or two maybe. Maybe on the same day. So this is these are the critical success factors. And you need to focus on assignments. You need to focus on live classes. You need to focus on a thing called course deadline. Okay, what about course deadline? Tentatively speaking, you should finish, finish your AAA course on or before 15th May. So that we can have a gap of one week. Within that gap, we will have revision. And on 22nd or 23rd May, we need to have the final mock exam. Before the final mock exam, you will attempt another mock exam by yourself. Why 22nd? Because your exam is on 3rd June. So we need to have a gap of 10 days because I need 3 to 4 days to mark mock exams. It takes approximately an hour to mark a mock exam. And I usually mark mock exams 14 to 15 hours per day for straight 4 to 5 days. So you need to follow the deadline. And yes, there is a deadline for the mock exam as well. Yes, your revision has to be strong and will conduct revision. You need to attempt final mock. Your final mock will be marked by me and we will have a mock debrief. What is mock debrief? I will tell, I will, first of all, I will elaborate the mock exam and I will teach you and I will highlight what were the common mistakes made by the failures. What were the good attributes of the students who have passed the mock exam? You can join the paid or free WhatsApp group. If you have enrolled with Vivi, you, are, you definitely you are going to be part of the uh, paid WhatsApp group. And from today onward, I'll be very vocal. I'll be, you know, keeping an eye on your progress. I'll be coming up with voice notes on a daily basis. I'll be giving you instructions over the weekend. I'll be reminding you about the class, about the deadline. And you can always, you know, raise the question within the WhatsApp group or directly to me. And I will be very interactive. I would request everyone to pin the WhatsApp group for a, for, a, for the next 70, 80 days till your final exam. And you can join the free WhatsApp group. If you are not part of the VP batch, you can join the free WhatsApp group, the free AAA WhatsApp group for the June 2024 exam sitting as well. 
how can you join the free whatsapp group well once this video is available on youtube the description of the video will have the link of the free triple a whatsapp group for the june 2024 exam setting yes technical articles are extremely important but i have already highlighted technical articles are of no use if you are unable to relate those technical articles with the past paper question yes 20 professional marks are very important and we we will execute a separate special class regarding the 20 professional marks as a live class yes the master file is extremely important and i will share the master file the new updated master file with all of you after the weekend in your whatsapp group why after the weekend because in over this weekend i am working over that master file okay there are two different batches triple a english batch versus triple a hindi urdu batch i will be giving same assignments i'll be giving same mock exam i'll be giving same notes but yes these are two different batches both batches will have 100% different content well different language triple a hindi urdu batch is different from triple a english the topics everything would be different uh, but the level of whatsapp support would be same different groups by the way same number of live classes same past papers different whatsapp groups so if you have got any questions or any concerns please share it with me now otherwise i need to move towards a very important thing and it's called triple a study guide for the june 2024 exam setting and if you are a triple a aspirant and if you want to attempt the exam on monday 3rd june well boy you need to start from this document you need to read this entire document today and you will understand that what about triple a well triple a is your optional strategic professional paper and you have to choose two optional papers and i think triple a has to be a mandatory paper because triple a is all about compliance fr sbr double a and triple a these four papers are actually the backbone or the crux of the entire acca so yes sbr double a and triple a and when i say sbr automatically fr is also included in it so this is your 99% of acca so this advanced audit and assurance exam you need to be familiar with four professional skills communication which is restricted to question number 1 this communication skill has got to do with question number 1 only but the rest of the three skills have got to do with question 1 question 2 and question 3 okay the syllabus your exam would be for 3 hour 15 minutes the exam would be in two sections section a and section b well what about section a section a will have section a will have total 50 marks 40 technical marks followed by 10 professional marks and all professional skills will be examined in section a all professional skills it means you have to be strong in all four professional skills for the question number 1 okay what about section b in the section b you will have two question two compulsory question both questions will have 25 marks in total out of 25 marks 20 would be technical marks five would be professional skill marks section b question will examination a combination of professional skills appropriate to the question each question will examine a minimum of two professional skills from analysis and evaluation that's your number one professional skepticism that's your number 2 and virtual acumen that's your number 3 so minimum two professional skills would be tested yes it's a possibility that all three could be tested let me take you back so out of these four out of these four the first one the first one has only got to do with question number 1 and the other three 
has got to do with 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 all the other paper. Quality management and ethics. I have told you this is going to be a hot case for your exam window as well. So once you will attend my lecture on quality management, once you will attend my lecture on ethics, you will explore maybe four to five questions on quality management, the past paper questions, and you need to cover at least one dozen short questions on ethics. Okay, so current issue, current issue could be in any of the of the exam section, maybe in section A and most likely in section B. There are total hundred marks. Okay. Okay, guys, now if you have got any question, if you have got any question, please raise your question now. Okay, so we have got a question in the chat box. Uh, where will find the practice questions in the portal? Well, the VCs portal is a very user-friendly portal. You will understand, for example, you have to attend a lecture on, for example, on ethics. And then there is a course, there is a lecture on technical relevant to ethics. And then there is a lecture, a special class on ethics. So you will, it's a, it's, it's a user-friendly portal. You don't have to worry about it. There will be many for each and every talk. For example, how many, how many past paper questions would you be able to cover through the WIFI portal? For example, how many question number one? More than a dozen. In the exam kit, you have got 15, 16, and you will be able to cover more than a dozen through the portal. But we, mind you, in the live classes, we'll be exploring new questions. So which variant should we prefer to take or AAA UK or AAA International? Well, I would say go for AAA International. SBR International, AAA International. Any other question from anyone? Compared to, let's say, SBR, how long is the syllabus content of AAA? Okay. Amar, to be very honest, it's not that lengthy. It says that students tend to create problems for themselves by reading the solution, by making sure they are absolutely crystal clear with respect to concept. And once the lecture is over, they don't type the answer. I will share the latest exam kit, the study text, the latest one, the ACCA study hub latest content within the WhatsApp group right after this session. And moreover, I will share, I will share the study guide, the study guide, the ACC study guide in your WhatsApp group as well, right after this session. Okay. Yes, welcome. Any other question from anyone? I will share the master file after a few days because for the June 2024 exam window, I am working on few areas of the master file. That is why I'm not going to share it over this weekend. So guys, I think it's time for me to take your leave. Thank you very much. Stay blessed. I wish you all the best. No, okay, okay, okay. Okay, Tamura has got a question. Has, is there any change for the June 2024 attempt? Okay, whenever ACCA, whenever ACCA brings up change in the exam format or the syllabus. The change is always applied initially for the September attempt. So for the June 2024 exam window, the book, the exam kit, the technique, the marking scheme, the syllabus itself, everything would remain same. Now, if you are targeting September, well, we are going to have another session, maybe in June, for the September 2024 attempt. Is this clear? Just to just to tackle the changes as of now, let's not discuss the changes because for June 2024, there is no change. Temur, is this clear? Okay, thank you. So guys, it's time for me to take your leave. I wish you all the best, not only for your AAA, but the life beyond it because I strongly believe once you are done with AAA, Probably you will be an ACCA affiliate. An ACCA affiliate is a myth. You have to be an ACCA member. So I wish you all the best and good luck for your practical life. So stay blessed, stay strong, and you will conquer and you will pass this paper if you are going to be a very disciplined individual for the next 70 days. Good luck.
and thank you very much Mark. see this energy is going to be contagious and it will give you energy as well i'll see you in the live classes the live classes are going to be more impactful thank you take care stay blessed bye bye thank you thank you sally thank you prachi thank you matiha thank you aseeb thank you everyone bye bye